the police are going by. Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bryce Side. Today we are in Helston to celebrate Flora Day 2022. Flora Day is an ancient and annual tradition here in the town to celebrate renewal and to say goodbye to winter and hello to the warm months of spring. We haven't had Flora Day for a couple of years because of Covid, so I expect the town is going to be really busy. So let's go check it out. The street is closed, which is good, so we can just amble down. Lots of the houses and businesses have got a floral display on, which is good being Florida Day. Okay, it is looking quite busy. Now, I haven't been to Florida Day since I was a kid, so it's been many, many years since I've been to Florida Day. I just remember it being very busy, lots of dancing, lots of drinking. So let's see what we've got in the main street. Another one of these nice floral displays outside of this business. Very nice. It's a beautiful day for it. Look at that lovely blue sky. Just a couple of wisps of white cloud up there. But very nice. My goodness. Just a sea of people. Just going with the flow. Some doves up there having a bit of a tussle. I thought doves were of peace. What's going on there? There's Buku's if you want a really good burger. A few months ago we went to Buku's and videoed it, so if you want to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description. And the Rodney Inn all decked out with a floral display. It's like a busy day at Magic Kingdom. That's some adventurous seating. And now we've turned the corner into the main street of Helston. Look at all those heads down there. There's a little stall over there where you can pick up a booklet on Helston Flora Day if you like. I thought Trevivic Day was busy in Camborne a few weeks ago, but wow, nothing compared to this. Okay, back into the main street.
all these decorations. Right, let's work our way to the bottom and then I'll come back up on the front side of these stalls. My goodness! Some behind the scenes action here on this food stall. Hmm. Right, I've arrived at the bottom of the main street. Just by the bowling green down there. And I can see a pizza van. Now that pizza van has been in Penzance before. I've seen that there before. Smashed pizzas. Yeah, I've seen those before. It was alright, we had a pizza from there once. Heading up the street, there's a little bit more uh, room to manoeuvre down here, but it will thicken back up as we continue up the street. There's a burger, hot dog stall here. I've got a feeling they're the same guys we bought... Yeah, they are. They're the same people that we bought our cheeseburgers from at Trevivic Day in Camborne a couple of weeks back. Candy floss and sweets. Coffee truck there, or van rather. Kelly's Cornish ice cream, nice. Like all these towns, Helston is one of those towns that uh, you just look up and you see some lovely architecture. But when you're busy and around and you're walking around the town and stuff, any town, you, you don't really look up and look at the buildings. I like doing that. Oh, if AJ were here, he would be in his element. He loves donuts. There is a plethora of food here. This is the front side of that hog roast. Temperature 61 degrees, but actually it feels a lot warmer in the sun, that's for sure. I reckon it's closer to 70. Pizza topped fries and burgers, nice. Right, so I think that's the end of the food stalls which are lining the bottom half. All the upper half is uh, all of your like art stalls. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to need to make a decision on where to eat. I'm going to head back down. I'm interested in procuring something from that hog roast, but the line for it is massive, so can't see that happening. Yeah. Right, it's either going to be a pizza yeah, so... or a hot dog. Let's see what the lines are like. Went ahead and got me a hot dog. Actually got it from the same stall as the one we got the cheeseburgers at, at Trevivic Day. Not bad. The onions, mustard, ketchup. Right. I've had better hot dogs. It got a bit dry toward the end, but it was all right. <coughs> right, let's head back up the street a little ways, see what else we can find. The Blue Anchor, home of Spingo Real Ale. I've had it a few times. It's a strange tasting ale, in my opinion, of course. So I also went ahead and picked up some donuts from Donut Dolly. There's five of them in total, so I'm going to eat one now and then take the rest home for Shelley and the kids. Nice! Mm. Simple, just delicious, just with cinnamon sugar. Fresh out of the uh, hot oil. That's a good donut. Mm. My goodness, I think that bin needs clearing. Some jewellery for sale in this stall. And the glassy bird. Obviously some glass art there in a frame. Some cupcakes. Milkshakes. Nice. I misspoke earlier when I said all the food stalls were further down the street. Actually we've got a churros stand there. And I think they're looking like crepes. They look like they're crepes being cooked. Yeah, they're crepes. So there is a little bit more food further up. Some more baked treats. And some summery looking outfits. More sweets, candy, that type of thing. Alright. Then we're back up to the top where we've got the candy floss. This is certainly a beehive of activity.
that was intensely busy. Crowds, crowds doesn't even begin to describe how busy it is here. It is absolutely packed. Oh man, I think I'm gonna clash with the parade again. I need to uh, find a way in onto this pavement. They've got a good vantage point. We're going to leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. Great to have Flora Day back after the uh, two year sort of layoff because of Covid. Give the video a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to the Bryce side, it really does help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell and you'll never miss out on any video that we put up. We are on social media, we are on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at the Bryce side so check us out there as well. So from us to you, cheers and gone. A little bit of open space now so we can manoeuvre safely. It's definitely warmer than 61 degrees.